Hey, I'm about to get started on a video, but I wanted to talk about, uh, I, I actually made a call to the company Car Putty for today's video, and I just want to give you an update, because in the video I said that I was going to call them and ask them about do they do RVs, and they said that they don't do RVs, but I had a very good conversation with them, and uh, the, in, the, the person told me, number one, that the person, the, the, the person who in, who came up with the idea owns 15 car dealerships and he said I know that we charge people all types of fees and additional finance charges and all that stuff so he actually came up with this idea to really disrupt his own market but he knows that if he didn't do it someone else would come up with this idea so that's why they did it and uh that now something that they told me about the interest rate is they said that the interest rate fluctuates off of what the offered rate, I forget what they called it, uh, but it's like a baseline rate of what the lending industry is utilizing for the month. So even if you got that loan to, like say you did it today and it was at 6.5%, which a lot of you I know are paying even more than that for your interest rate, but let's just say it's 6.5%. She said last month, uh, it was 5% in the month before that. It was 4%. You can actually refinance any month. Like, you can refinance every month if you, if, it, if the rate kept going down, which the rates will start going down in, in the future. You could refinance that rate again next month on all of your vehicles with just a simple click of a button. Like, it wasn't any difficult, no fees and stuff like that are being tacked on. So this is really a way to save money. And uh, I wish that they could do it for RVs, but they don't do it for RVs. And then the valuation tool on the vehicle valuation tool, this is something that they said that would uh, be able to help uh, you in negotiating. And I, I talk about that in the video that you're about to watch. But you you can uh, but I know more about it after talking directly to them is that so there that valuation tool is used to let you know what a new or used vehicle is worth and they'll give you that amount of money in a line of credit and then you can take that to the dealer and you can say hey this car here you have it for eighty five thousand dollars I have seventy five thousand dollars right here pre approved. Do you want it or not? They might try to say, well, we can't go that low, but we'll take 5000 off on the vehicle, whatever. So that's a very uh, good uh, negotiation tool because then it can help you find out where they're at with the commission and the profit on the dealership. And I can tell you that with the dealer incentives and the things that they get from new car uh, manufacturers, if you go in there and, the, and it says that that car is worth uh, $75,000 and they have it for uh, $80,000 or $85,000 or $90,000, you can walk out of there with that vehicle for $75,000, maybe pay a few dollars over on the taxes, uh, you know, you know, pay the taxes and walk out of there on that vehicle because they, they, they get money back from the manufacturer for just selling that vehicle. So there's, there's money that they make in there and I'm just, I'm telling you, if you walk in there with that power, you it's rare that they're going to tell you to leave without making a deal. So now watch the rest of the video because I'm going to walk you through what Car Putty is all about. What's up, everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of TheCreditRepairShop.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that I've just learned about. I don't know how long it's been around, but it's a new way to finance your car. Like I've all, I've uh, number one. Let's let's clap. Let's wake up to if it's in the morning or whatever time of day it is. I want you to clap. I want you to be happy that you are alive. I want you to be happy that you are well. If you don't feel good, I want you to start thinking that you're going to be feeling better because there there's so much opportunity in this world. Things are just happening, and I, like I'm just glad that I'm here to be a part of it. I'm glad that I'm able to present to you things that I find, um, new ideas, everything. That's what this whole, that's what every, that's what this whole channel is about. That's what our whole existence is about is learning new things, seeing how they work, putting them into action. Some stuff fails, some stuff succeed. But I just found 
uh, been, been exposed to this company called Car Putty. And what, what I think makes this like a disruptive type uh, thing for the car industry, for the lending industry, um, just to give you a background, if you don't know what I mean by disruption, taxi cabs got disrupted by Uber. Hotels got disrupted by Airbnb. Uh, my company, my, my uh, magazine, my advertising magazine company got disrupted by companies like Facebook and YouTube. So there's always these disruptions coming around. Right now, we see Carvana disrupting the car dealers. You know, at first, you know, so at first it was uh, CarMax kind of disrupted the car dealers, but that was still where you had to go to the dealer. It was still a similar type thing, but they were saying like one price, all that stuff, no haggling. Well, now the big disruption happened with Carvana because Carvana was like, you shop here, we're going to say it's good. You can even send the car back and we're going to bring the car to you. You don't even have to get out of your house. We even arranged the financing and everything. So that was a disruption. But let me tell you, I think I found like the ultimate disruption for car dealers. Because this one here, this one here not only will help you with, uh, it, at least on the face, I want people who have used it to respond and tell me their experience. I don't have any loans on my cars. All of my cars are paid off. So, um, so I want to know if this works for people because if before I paid off my cars, maybe I would have used this. To, and, and so I would tell you the experience, but I don't have any that all of my cars are paid off. But uh, with this here, what they're doing, if you already have a car loan, if you uh, want to go get a car, this service, Car Putty, what they do is it's going to be like a line of credit. And if it's utilized the same way that people try to tell people to to use line of credit lines of credit to pay off their mortgage faster on their home, the reason why is because the way that the interest rate is figured. They could give you a lower interest rate on a line of credit, and because the um, on a daily basis you're carrying over a less a lesser amount, so your actual cost of your loan is, is cheaper. Like one of the things that I found out, even with car loans, even with, with, uh, with, with mortgages, with anything, is that there's a daily rate. Uh, when, when, uh, I'll, here's a good example. When we went to pay off uh, my wife's Jeep, uh, it, they said, okay, well, we got to figure, you know, we're going to give you a payoff rate and then we figure it by, you know, we're going to give you 10 days. So there's going to be, it's, you owe this amount, but if we're, we're giving you the amount for 10 days, it's going to be a higher amount. But if you come in earlier, then we'll just give you a check back on the amount that we figured for 10 days. So they're, they're charging you on a daily basis, no matter what. And what I call this is hidden finance fees. Like they'll tell you what your interest rate is. But there's also a finance charge over the time of your loan. That's why you'll see, like, there's one rate, and then they'll say, well, this is the finance charge rate. And a lot of people call that, or I call it, hidden fees. So this company is disrupting that market. They're saying that they're not going to have any hidden fees. Right here on their website, it says, a simple way to finance your vehicles, get a flexible line of auto credit with a low transparent rate in minutes, use to replace all your car loans, present and future. It's available whenever you need it. And they have a nice video showing how it works and everything. It says that you can get approved in minutes, won't affect your credit score, apply from the comfort of your home, refinance, purchase, buy out your lease. So they're making it th this, new, this new way of financing a vehicle by using a line of credit. So it says here, there's some different ways that they tell you how you could use it for a new purchase, refinance, uh, purchase, use, lease, uh, lease buyout. As a matter of fact, I just thought about something. My vehicles are paid off, but I did not pay off my RV. Uh, so I'm going to actually test this and see what they're going to give me based off of uh, their rate, based off of what I'm paying for the RV. Reason why you don't want to pay off an RV is because you, you just use it Pay on it while you're using it. 
because the values go down and then you can end up selling it later. Even though I caught a deal on my RV, you know, so, you know, watch out. Um, so I will have something and I promise you I will test it. I'm going to test it and see what, what they're going to be able to do for, for us on that. So it says here, a completely re-engineered financing process. Car Putty Flex line, line of credit covers every vehicle in your driveway, present or future. So this is what they're saying. The old way was every time you purchase a refinance, you have to jump through some restricted, frustrating, time consuming hoops just to be able to get things done. They got the, the vehicles, the repeat process, all this stuff, your credit, all that stuff. What they're doing is they're saying you did a one time application and you'll be able to use that on any vehicles that you have. Now, I don't know about that. That's probably gonna be determined on credit and income on how many they'll allow you to do, but I'm pretty sure if you already have a loan, if you already have a loan, that they will probably qualify you on that loan. And I probably what I'm estimating is that they're gonna look at what you're doing on that loan right now and based what they're gonna be offering you or if they will be able to offer you anything. So looking at everything, it says low rates, low rates here now uh these here uh with probably these are gonna have to go down <laughs> these are gonna have to go down uh, uh i mean i don't know i don't know what they're offering for auto loan rates but i can tell you even on my rv i'm paying less than this amount here uh for the interest rate but um let's see it says car buddy flex live credit based on you not your ride so they're saying that they're basing it on you not the vehicle i know when you go to some of the car dealers in the the uh comp the uh finance companies or the banks who underwrite the loans a lot of the times they're going to look at that vehicle and they're going to base it on what that vehicle is worth what they're saying is that they're going to base it on you so this is a disruptive uh way and also this goes into why it's very important to make sure that your credit is intact because with these new types of products they could mainly look at if you are credit worthy so that means that you will be able to get whatever vehicle you want to get but they're not going to base it solely on the vehicle they're not going to base it on the uh you know the the, the item that you're getting they're going to base it on you and there's a lot of things that we buy all of us there's a lot of things that we buy that may not be worth the money technically to the bank who's lending the money but it's worth it to us because we want it we want to look good we want to splurge it whatever so it says here rates are determined by income and credit and a 63 month amortization your rate will be based on your credit and income data and may be different than the example provided. So maybe this is like the baseline uh, of their rates, but I would uh, see what, if, you, if you're in the situation, see what, they're, what they would offer. I'm going to uh, at least see what they might offer on my RV, uh, but I can tell you right now that I'm way lower than that. Uh, let's see here, one lender, uh, many benefits, no more bouncing around from lender to lender, you'll have one credit pool rate and monthly payment. I guess maybe they're gonna also combine everything together. So if you have, you know, multiple vehicles, which you're already paying anyway, but that could actually help you save money when you think about it. If you have, say you have two vehicles, they give you the line of credit and you're paying one payment, you could be paying a lot uh, less in finance charges. So I, I can see that that would be saving money. Uh, always open when you need it. Your line is ready to use, whether it's to refinance five days from now or to purchase a new vehicle five years from now. So what what they're saying on this here is like, say you have a vehicle and you wanna refinance that vehicle, You're, you could do it at any time. Uh, even I think from what I'm understanding here, even if you already have something with them that you could choose to refinance that vehicle because this is technically a line of credit and it's based on you and your income, not based on the vehicle. So that means that any time that you wanna rework your financial situation, you would be able to do that. Multiple cars, one payment, perfect for simple flight. See, there we go right there. I had said that, but they have it right here. Simplify, simplifying multiple car loans, 
put all your family vehicle in one line of credit, manage your cars like an asset, buy and sell your cars like you would manage your stock portfolio. Well, that, that's just putting something in people's head. Always know the perfect time to buy or sell without uh, with our revolutionary V3 validation tool, what is that vehicle validation tool? You can see uh, coming price changes in any car value, which allows you the time to market and buy or sell your car. Uh, let's see here. So, so this is. Uh, I think that this this could be this could be a recommendation. I want to hear what uh, some experiences, if people have already worked with it. I want to hear some experiences uh, because it's very important that we uh, get, got something on my phone here. It's very important that we, we know if this, uh, if this thing is working for people. You know, some of the times companies may say things, but it's not. Uh, it, it's not exactly that. Uh, look at this validation, uh, verify. What was it? Uh, yeah, valuation, V3 valuation tool that they got. I guess it where you can see what the vehicle is worth. Uh, here are the states. They're not in all the states. Oh, they, yeah, they're in my state, Wisconsin. They're, but it looks like they're not in all 50 states. And some of the, I'm pretty sure some of the, uh, the some restrictions may vary from state to state. Um, but I think that this might be, this might be, uh, make it to my list of potentials. Because number one, if I'm willing to test it out and tell you what they offer to me, I'm gonna, you know, I, I, I think that this is a good oppor opportunity. Um, Another reason why I'm, it's in my recommendation bucket, so to speak, is that it can actually, if you have multiple vehicles, or even if you just have one vehicle, that that uh, flexible line of credit would allow you to be able to save money. And one of the things that I always talk about with having good credit, reason why you want to have your credit repaired is because people with bad credit pay more for the same things that people with good credit pay less for. And this tool right here, even if you're still working, getting that credit in order, you could utilize this tool to actually save money now while you're still working on your credit. And But it will allow you to put more money in your pocket and hopefully you would save some of that money and utilize that to either pay down debt to uh, help you get to where you need to be. And then if you have multiple vehicles, if you have multiple vehicles, I think that it would be a good uh, opportunity to see the differences on what you're paying now. And don't just look at the payment. Look at how much of the money is going towards the principal of the vehicle. That's what I'm going to pay attention to when uh, I do mine for the RV. I'm going to look at exactly what amount is going towards the payoff of the vehicle because the way that they do rvs is totally different than the way that they do uh regular vehicles so i want to see you know if this company is uh legit and that are my rv it was over uh 120 thousand dollars so we'll have to see where they're they're at with uh with you know how they do with the payment on that uh but hey thank you for your time i think that this is something at least worth worth your time to uh, take a look. Uh, I'm not an affiliate with this company. I don't get paid anything for presenting this to you. I just believe that it could be a very good opportunity uh, for you to be able to, uh, you know, ch change around your finances, to be able to save money on the things that you're already paying on so you can put that money to, to good work for other things that you need for your family. If you need help with your credit, please visit us at thecreditrepairshop.com Watch the video, what makes us different, so you can see my eight-point validation process, my two-phase settlement process. This is the way that we repair credit. We do not promise overnight success, but we do promise hard work, and we're going to do what it takes to get you where you want to be. My service is one flat fee, and it will carry you over for one full year of services. Nobody else does that. 
Um, if you need your credit reports and scores, go to the website, your the number three scores.com. Get your TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian credit reports and all three scores. And the big thing with that bureau, uh, with that credit monitor service that I recommend people to, is that it has information in the comment sections that I don't see with the other uh, companies that are providing information. And that's right there. Like those little things that are in that comment section can be the difference between you not ever having to pay a collection or you or even an original creditor just by the words that they say in those comments and let me give you an example if a if a creditor says that a debt was canceled the the legal term on a canceled debt could be a 1099c cancellation of debt they cannot take that debt and sell it to someone. They cannot even contact you and try to collect on that debt. And you've probably tried to call them and they say, we can't collect any money on that debt because they canceled it because you're gonna get a 1099C from the, from the IRS saying that that money that you had from that account is now considered income. So you could end up paying twice if you paid, if, if they were able to take the money or if the uh, if they sold it to a debt collector and you paid the debt collector without doing a verification of a 1099C that could have been filed, and it could take up to a year or longer depending on how you know the IRS right now is short staff, it could take up to a year or a year and six months for you to get that 1099C cancellation of debt form, and you're like, I didn't even have to pay this, and they're expecting you to file to uh, file that as income. So pay attention to that. If you have debt collectors coming after you, grab my three pack of letters, cease and desist collection activities letter, debt validation, those two go together, and my statute of limitations letter. Those three, use them the way, on the way that it pertains to your specific account that you're dealing with. Statute of limitations would be if the debt that a debt collector or even an original creditor is trying to come after you for and it's past the legal statute of limitations to be collected in your state, you don't have to pay anything, not, even, not the original creditor, not a debt collector, but you got to notify them that you know because they'll just pretend. They'll just say, we uh, believe you owe the money. The, debt, the cease and desist collection activities. And you can find out the statute of limitations by going to my website, thecreditrepairshop.com, and you'll see a list, statute of limitations. If, you, if it's not past legal statute of limitations to collect, then you need to use the cease and desist collection activities letter and the debt validation letter to go back and forth because they're, they're not going to just quit. You know, these are companies. These are people that are trying to collect money that's the only way that they get paid. So they're not going to just quit. So stop thinking that you can just send them a letter and it's just going to be over. You got to send them something that gets their attention that you're going to be fighting every piece of documentation that they have to prove to be able to come after you and collect the money. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about running. We're not talking about saying it's not me. We're not talking about all of these different gimmicks that you hear on YouTube and all the other places. We're talking about a letter that goes to them directly, not around, skirting around to the bureaus. To them, Mr. Mrs. Debt Collector, you must provide this information. And it's not just about doing a debt validation. I'm pretty sure that you probably sent documents to the furnishers, debt collectors, a, a validation letter, and they just sent back, yeah, it's validated. What specifically in each line that you need to ask them for so they will take your validation serious. That's what I provide to people. So those are for free. Link is below this video. Please make a donation. Don't just take the letters. I, I put a lot of work and time into what I do and I think that it's worthy. But if you, you know, whatever your situation, you know, that's, that's on your heart to be able to do it. But I can tell you that It'll save you time. It'll save you money. It'll save you frustration. And anyone that could save me time, money, frustration, I believe that they will be worthy of something from me because there's a lot of other people that are just trying to take your money and, 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 and make you waste your time. 
So thank you for your time to Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the Credit Repair Shop.com. Please subscribe to the channel. I want to get to that 50,000 before the end of the month. I want to get to 50,000 subscribers before the end of the month. And I want to get to 100,000 subscribers over the next two months. And I think that we'll be able to get there. Uh, post your questions and comments. Like this video. And hit the notification bell to get notified of the next video. Thank you.